Retrograde. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. In a little less than a month, one of our favorite planets will do a cosmic backpedal that had astronomers scratching their heads for centuries. That's right, James. Near the end of June, the planet Mars will begin moving backwards against the background stars. We call it retrograde motion, and it's a heavenly sign that great things are about to happen. What are we talking about? Let's show you. Throughout human history, people have studied the motion of the planets. They call them wandering stars because they appear to move against the background of fixed stars. Furthermore, they would occasionally change their direction, speed, brightness, and even their color. Ancient Greek astronomers referred to these wandering stars as Asteris Planetes, which we have shortened today to planet. The individual names we use for the planets today are derived from characters in Roman mythology. For example, Mercury is named after the messenger of the Roman gods. He was known for his speed, and this planet lives up to its namesake. Mercury is traveling at over 100,000 miles per hour around the sun and can complete one orbit of the sun in about 88 days. Mars, the red planet, is special because of its dramatic change in brightness and color. The reddish color of the surface of Mars prompted many cultures to associate this planet with their gods of blood and violence. Before the true nature of planetary motion was understood, it was believed that whenever Mars began moving backwards in the sky, war, pestilence, and death were not far behind. Furthermore, since Mercury was the messenger of the gods, it was often thought to be a bad idea to do anything involving communications whenever Mercury was in retrograde. Followers of the geocentric model of the solar system devised a complicated series of overlapping circles to explain planetary motion. Each planet was assumed to move on a small circle called an epicycle, which in turn moved on a larger circle called a deferent, which was centered on a point in space called an eccentric. After about 10 minutes of looking at this celestial whirly gig, it makes my head hurt. So fortunately, through the efforts of Copernicus, Kepler, and Newton, we now understand how, why, and when the planets will move as they do. The cause of retrograde is quite simple, and it's something you've all experienced. Imagine you're on a three-lane highway. Mercury is in the fast lane on the left. Mars is in the slow lane on the right, and you're in the middle lane. If you're traveling faster than the car next to you, that car will appear to be moving backwards with respect to the background. This is what's happening between Earth and Mars. So, every 26 months, as we get close to Mars in our orbit, we pass it, and it appears to move backwards, and it gets brighter as we get closer. An observer on Mercury looking at Earth would see the same effect every four months. From our perspective, since Mercury is always near the Sun, Mercury will appear to be moving from east to west as it passes between us and the Sun. Speaking of which, let's see what the planets will be doing next week. Okay, we have our skies set for just before sunrise any morning next week, facing west. Calus Borealis marks the top of the lid of the teapot of Sagittarius, and you'll see the ringed planet Saturn very close to it. Mars is also nearby and will be very easy to find as it's the only bright thing in the constellation of Capricornus the sea goat. And if you need a little lunar help to find planets, well, you can watch the moon every morning this week. On the morning of Thursday, May 31st, the waning gibbous moon will be approaching and then passing Saturn. Here's where the moon will be on June 1st, June 2nd, and June 3rd. Oh yeah, a conjunction. Cue the music. Yep, Mars and the moon will be in close conjunction on the morning of Sunday, June 3rd. Oh yeah, and so head outside and check out Mars as it begins to go retrograde next month. It's easy to do if you remember to keep, keep looking, looking up. up.